Hi, I'm Jayashree, a fifth year PhD student at UT Austin. Today, I'm excited to talk about CheckFreak, our work on how to enable frequent fine-grained DNA checkpointing. This is joint work with Amar Fanishai from Microsoft Research and my advisor, Vijay Chidambaram. Deep neural networks are an increasingly important workload in data centers today. DNNs have empowered state-of-the-art results across a wide range of applications such as image classification, object detection, language translation, and many more. But the first step in any deep learning innovation is to build and train the model. Training starts with a randomly chosen set of learnable model parameters such as weights and biases. In each iteration of training, a disjoint subset of the training data set called a mini batch of data is processed and the model weights are recomputed using the gradients obtained. This is performed iteratively and when one complete pass over the data set is performed, we call it an epoch. A model is typically trained for several epochs. This training phase is highly resource hungry and time consuming. If the training job is interrupted at any point due to server failures, VM migrations or preemptions, then the model state learned so far in memory is completely wiped out, therefore resulting in loss of several hours of GPU work. To tackle this, the model state is written to persistent storage at regular intervals along the training process. This is called checkpointing. In this scenario, whenever the training is interrupted, it resumes from the latest available checkpoint on disk, thereby reducing the amount of lost GPU work. Let's now look at the state of checkpointing in open source ML training frameworks like PyTorch. First, checkpointing is done synchronously. Since model weights are continuously updated in memory every iteration, training must briefly pause in order to capture a consistent model state. This introduces checkpoint stalls. Second, the checkpointing frequency is determined manually and is typically performed at epoch boundaries. However, with recent trends in increasing model complexity and data set sizes, epoch times are also increasing. Furthermore, with the emergence of low cost spot VMs, interruptions to training jobs are becoming frequent. These trends, in, these trends result in the need for a more fine grained iteration level checkpointing strategy. However, performing fine grained checkpointing at iteration boundaries poses several unique challenges in the DNN world. The first is identifying when to perform a checkpoint. Second, how to minimize the cost of each checkpoint. Finally, how to maintain the data invariant when resuming training from a checkpoint. Now the data invariant in DNN training is that each epoch processes the entire data set exactly once in a shuffled order. If the checkpoints are taken at iteration granularity, then we must ensure that the data invariant holds when training resumes from the middle of an epoch. Our work addresses these challenges by building an automated fine-grained checkpointing framework for DNN training called CheckFreak. CheckFreak introduces a new checkpointing policy and a mechanism to strike a balance between ensuring low runtime overhead and providing high checkpointing frequency. CheckFreak achieves this using a combination of techniques that exploit the DNN learning structure, such as pipeline in-memory snapshots, GPU-based snapshots, and adaptive rate tuning. Our experimentation shows that CheckFreak is able to reduce recovery time for popular DNNs from order of hours to seconds when compared to the traditional epoch-based checkpointing. In the rest of this talk, I'll give an overview of CheckFreak's checkpointing mechanism and policy and conclude with some empirical results to show the efficacy of our approach. CheckFreak consists of a checkpointing mechanism that performs low-cost pipeline checkpointing and a checkpointing policy that decides when to initiate a checkpoint operation. CheckFreak uses a collection of techniques to achieve this goal. First, it introduces a two-phase checkpointing mechanism to carefully pipeline checkpointing with computation in order to reduce checkpointing stalls. Second, 
It introduces a resumable data iterator, which ensures that the data invariant holds when training resumes from a checkpoint. Third, it introduces a systematic online profiling phase that identifies the frequency of checkpointing such that the runtime overhead incurred is within a user given bound. Finally, CheckFreak introduces adaptive rate tuning to monitor the checkpoint stalls in the background and adjust the frequency to changes in the training environment such as interference due to other jobs. In this talk, I'll focus only on two of these techniques and details of the other techniques and the recovery guarantees provided by CheckFreak can be found in the paper. Let's start with the checkpointing mechanism. CheckFreak splits checkpointing into two phases. First is the snapshot phase that serializes and copies the learnable model state from GPU memory to a user space buffer in CPU memory. Next is a persist phase that writes out the serialized content to disk. CheckFreak pipelines each of these phases with the DNN computation. Let's see how CheckFreak pipelines checkpointing using an example. Consider, for instance, a policy that checkpoints every three iterations. Say the initial checkpoint is taken after the first iteration. In the baseline synchronous mechanism, the entire checkpoint cost is incurred in the critical path, which manifests itself as a checkpoint stall in training. This is indicated by the brown block in the GPU timeline. This results in significant checkpoint stalls in the critical path. Now consider a second mechanism where snapshot is still performed in the critical path for consistency of the model state, whereas we pipeline the persist operation with the compute of the subsequent iterations. This eliminates the overhead due to disk IO, thereby reducing stalls compared to a synchronous checkpointing scheme. However, it still has considerable checkpoint stalls due to snapshotting. To address this, CheckFreak carefully pipelines the snapshot phase as well with the compute of the subsequent iteration. Model weights are updated and synchronized across GPUs during the final weight update phase in an iteration. Therefore, we can pipeline the snapshot operation with the forward and backward pass of the next iteration. If it does not complete by the end of the next backward pass, then training has to be paused until the ongoing snapshot successfully completes. And then the model state is persisted asynchronously. Thus, CheckFreak's pipelining mechanism helps us significantly reduce checkpointing stalls. To further optimize the checkpoint cost, CheckFreak uses GPU-based snapshots. We observe that the cost of performing a snapshot in GPU memory is an order of magnitude cheaper than performing it in CPU memory, as the latter involves a GPU to CPU copy in the critical path. Therefore, when spare GPU memory is available in the training environment, we snapshot in the GPU memory. The persist phase will then asynchronously copy the snapshot to CPU memory and then finally write it to disk. Now this brings us to CheckFreak's checkpointing policy. The checkpointing policy determines when to initiate a checkpoint. The idea here is to checkpoint every K iterations such that the checkpoint stall incurred can be amortized over the compute cost of these iterations. To determine the checkpointing frequency, CheckFreak's data iterator automatically profiles several iteration level and checkpoint specific metrics during the first few iterations of training. These include the size of model checkpoint, GPU memory utilization, disk throughput, and so on. It then measures the cost of performing one checkpoint and calculates the number of iterations required to bound this cost within a user given threshold. More details on this algorithm can be found in the paper. Finally, let's move on to some empirical results. We integrated CheckFreak with PyTorch and modified the state of the art data loading library DALI to implement CheckFreak's iterator. All our experiments were performed on two different ML optimized server configurations that are a part of an internal cluster at Microsoft. We evaluate CheckFreak on a variety of models, broadly image classification on the ImageNet dataset and board large pre-training on the Wikipedia dataset. We perform several micro and macro benchmarks to, uh, to evaluate the efficacy of our approach. 
in the interest of time, we'll only discuss how Check Freak reduces checkpoint stalls and model recovery time. To understand the benefit of Check Freak's pipelining mechanism, we train BGG16 using three different checkpointing mechanisms, each with a checkpointing frequency of 15 iterations. We plot iteration number on the x-axis and the time taken per iteration on the y-axis. As we can see, with the synchronous checkpointing scheme, there is a spike in training time every 15 iterations due to the checkpoint stalls. Now, when we pipeline only the persist phase, we see that the checkpoint stalls have almost halved, but is still considerable. In contrast, CheckFreak is able to reduce the checkpoint stalls to a bare minimum using pipeline checkpointing operation. Now in the next graph, we show the percentage of runtime overhead incurred with CheckFreak and with synchronous checkpointing for different models. While CheckFreak is able to bound the runtime overhead to about 3.5%, the baseline incurs anywhere between 17 to 73% overhead for the same checkpointing frequency. Finally, to demonstrate the recovery time benefits provided by CheckFreak, we compare it to an epoch-based checkpointing strategy across different models. Recovery time here is defined as the amount of time spent by the model to resume to the same state as it was before interruption. As we can see, CheckFreak's frequent checkpointing results in recovery times as low as a few seconds at a nominal 3.5% runtime overhead, whereas epoch-based checkpointing has recovery times in the order of hours. To conclude, we presented CheckFreak, an automatic fine-grained checkpointing framework for DNN training. CheckFreak strikes a balance between low runtime overhead and high frequency of checkpointing, reducing recovery times for popular models from order of hours to seconds. Thank you.